Hello, this is Cookie from Cookie.in and you're watching the Zolo Q700S handset and gaming review. This is another 1.3 GHz quad-core processor. Let's uh, go through the specifications as mentioned on the box. This is 1.3 GHz quad-core MT6582M processor with Mali 400 GPU 4.5 inch FW VGA IPS screen. 8 MP rear camera, VGA front camera. It can record full HD videos. 3G is supported. 1 GB RAM, 4 GB internal storage. You can see the list of uh, sensors and uh, the Zolo Secure Zolo Power app running on the Android 4.2 with 1800 mAh battery. Inside the box you'll find the handset, the screen guard, travel charger, data cable, Zolo quick start guide and warranty information, earphone, and 1800 mAh battery. Here is a smart looking Zolo Q700S, the side view and uh, the rear view. The rear side is with a metallic finish but it is made of plastic. Here is a closer view. The build quality and the finishing is very good and the handset looks pretty impressive. The black and silver combination gives a very elegant look. There is already a factory fitted screen guard as you can see. Three touch sensitive buttons here and uh, here is the mic volume rockers on the left side power button on the right on the top you'll find the 3.5mm audio jack and the micro usb port on the rear there is the speaker route vent zolo logo and the 8 megapixel rear focus camera with dual led flash as already mentioned the back cover is with metallic finish but made of plastic it's of a good quality this is a dual SIM handset, you can see the SIM slot 1, SIM slot 2 and uh, here is the micro SD card slot. You need normal SIMs. Though the build quality and the finishing is very good, there is a small opening on the back side which is easily visible probably because of the metallic finish. Apart from this small gap, everything looks good. Handset weight with battery is 137 grams, thickness is 9.46 mm, the breadth is 64.40 mm and the length is 135.86 mm here is the home screen the touch is smooth and responsive horizontal lines are visible on the images when using full brightness mode Wi-Fi hotspot USB and Bluetooth tethering is supported 0.98 GB is assigned for apps this is the internal storage 1.75 GB and uh, of the 1 GB RAM you get around 809 MB free that's a lot of free RAM. The backlit button lighting up. The viewing angle is good. There are many handsets available in the market that are running on the same 1.3 GHz quad core chipset. Let's check out the system information. ARM Cortex A7 1.3 GHz, it's quad core with uh, Mali 400 GPU. MT6582 running on Android 4.2.2 with screen resolution of 854 by 480 pixels. Here are the list of sensors, accelerometer, light and proximity. The sensors are placed here. This is the front camera and the in-call speaker. The time is 6.13, battery at 86% and the temperature at 36 degrees. Quadrant benchmark score is 6998. Antitude score is 17534. Vilamo HTML5 1954, Metal 549. In a Mark 2, 54.4 FPS, and this handset supports 5 point multi touch. Here is the camera interface you can see HDR and uh, panorama is supported. Rear camera is 8 megapixel, you can shoot videos in full HD resolution, and the front camera is VGA. This is an autofocus camera. I've started the video recording, and it got recorded in 1080p at 30 frames per second. This handset can easily play Full HD videos. Let's uh, play the Modern Combat 4. This game got installed on the external storage. The gameplay is pretty good and smooth.
I've been using this handset for around 28 minutes, running the benchmark application and playing the MC4 game. After 28 minutes, the battery dropped by 4% and the temperature is 38 degrees. Zolo Q700S and the Micromax A114, both of these handsets are using the 1.3 GHz chipset. Q700S comes with a smaller screen and lower resolution as compared with the A114. Q700S comes with a 1800 mAh battery as compared to the 2000 mAh on the Micromax A114. There is hardly any other differences between these two handsets and both of these handsets can record Full HD videos. The Zolo Q700S is priced at approximately 9500. For full review, sample images and videos visit my website kogi.in.